Hello everyone, welcome to On Deck with Mercury. My name is Mercury Payton, I'm the town manager of Vienna. And uh, this is budget season across the Commonwealth of Virginia as well as here in the town of Vienna. And so um, it's the main topic and focus of what we do here uh, in the town at this time of year. And with me tonight, I have the Director of Finance, Marion Surface. Hi, Mary. How are you? Hi, Mercury. I'm doing fine. How about you? I'm do doing great. Good, Good to see you. This is our favorite time of the year, as we frequently say. It is. <laughs> uh, because we get a chance to look at numbers and plan and look and see how we can make a positive impact for residents. So, so it's really a, a planning exercise that we do every year. So it's really exciting for us. And I know that accountants um, across uh, the country are looking at uh, tax return information they're getting from, uh, from their clients and such. And so they're busy crunching their numbers. As you crunch numbers, um, tell us a little bit how Vienna looks. Okay, thanks, Mercury. Um, well, as you all, as you know, the um, pandemic's had a kind of an impact on us the last couple of years. We were very uncertain as how the pandemic would affect us. Unlike the federal government, the town of Vienna cannot run a deficit budget. We have to balance our budget. So we were a little worried about our revenue coming in on budget. So we, we uh, downgraded our revenue forecasts and also cut our expenditure budgets. But luckily in uh, 21, uh, our revenues came in fairly strong, driven mostly by a lot of residential redevelopment and strong real estate taxes. Um, 22, which is the current fiscal year we're in, ending in June, looks like it's going to come in on budget. And uh, 23, we're starting to budget for right now. Bright spots include a strong level of residential redevelopment. As you drive around Vienna, you can see that. Also, as you drive up and down Maple Avenue, you'll notice two commercial mixed-use developments underway with residential and retail space. We're looking forward to those coming online in 23 to help our commercial picture. Um, also, we're very excited about our new police station opening in July. So those are yeah. some of our highlights coming up. That's really exciting. So real quickly, the end of the fiscal year, last year finished, finished better than what we thought. Mm -hmm. The fiscal year that we're in now, which ends June 30, which I guess is probably good to explain that our fiscal year is July 1 to June 30. That's correct. And so this fiscal year we're in now, now it looks like it's going to be ending pretty, pretty strong as well. Right. It will definitely be favorable to budget, which is where right. we'd like to be. And, and, and now we're planning for the budget that begins July 1 going into next year. So maybe let's talk a little bit about personnel um, costs. And aside from that, there's an operating part of that as well. Right. So we, when we talk, generally when we talk about the budget, most of the time we're talking about the operating budget. And the operating budget is day-to-day -day expenses, things we do every day, services that we provide to the town, mainly salaries, um, supplies, and other recurring expenses. And this budget, we, whatever we uh, make and whatever we spend, we have to be done by June 30th. Nothing carries over to the next year. That's unlike our capital budget, which we talk about sometimes in the summer. It pays for big things, tangible things, buildings, parks, playground equipment, streets and sidewalks, things like that. Unlike the operating budget, though, the capital budget, we do, projects do run more than a year because it takes a long time to build a police station. So those, that budget's run over for more than a year. Right. So maybe explain a little bit about the general fund. What does the general fund actually do? Sure. The general fund is our main operating fund, and that's where most of the town's services are. Um, it covers personnel, supplies, utility bills, re and the recurring cost of doing business every day. Um, um, I can talk about the different pieces of the general sure, yeah, fund, yeah. and actually I've written them down so I don't forget any. <laughs> so the general fund are our, our biggest services, such as public safety, the police force, and they have several different divisions, traffic, patrol, animal control, public relations, the dispatch group, and investigations. So we have a 41-member police force, and they're there to serve the, t the residents of Vienna and provide those services. Public works is our biggest department. It has uh, 80 people in it. And they handle things like street maintenance, sanitation, picking up the trash, um, general maintenance, just making things look nice around town, vehicle maintenance, we have a fleet of about 150 trucks, they take care of that. Um, traffic engineering, they deal with the traffic lights in town. Leaf collection and snow removal. That department also has water and sewer operations, but they're not part of the general fund, they're in a different fund. Um, next is parks and recreation which is, um, they're housed at our community center and also at our parks maintenance facility. And uh, they run the community center where there are programs for, for uh, residents of all ages, residents and non-residents of all ages, from youth, t youth programs and camps 
through senior programs. Um, also lots of special events that residents in the town are familiar with like Chillin' on Church and the Halloween Parade. Then we have a parks maintenance group which is maybe a little less well known but they manage our 13 parks and make sure that that those areas and the public spaces where there's flowers or grass look nice and they take care of that. Planning and zoning is another department in uh, the general fund. They are responsible for making sure that, that the town um, looks good, you know, that, that you can't build a deck that's uh, bigger than your house and that, that we have, that, uh, we have a, a zoning code update right now, but they're addressing things like how much of your lot can your house take up? Right now it's 25%, can it be more? Also, the zoning code update is going to address commercial development, hopefully making it easier for uh, commercial to thrive here in Vienna. Um, next, uh, economic development, which is a new department in 2019. That uh, department is, deals a lot with the business sector. And uh, we were very lucky to have economic development start in 2019, right before the pandemic, because we did a lot of uh, our economic development department of one, uh, really did a lot of work helping businesses out during the pandemic. Uh, then we have uh, more of your overhead departments, uh, which is human resources and risk management, which takes care of the employee side. Information technology handles all our uh, computer needs and information technology needs. Finance, my department, we're responsible for uh, billing revenue, collecting revenue, financial reporting. Um, of course, the town manager, uh, who's in charge of all of us, and the town clerk, and that makes up the general fund. About 75% of those costs are salary and benefits, and some other large expenses in the general fund are, are landfill costs, and then uh, fuel costs for the vehicles, and then other supplies, right. things like that. So when residents are out and about and they see police officers or they see people working on street maintenance or leaf collection, snow removal, all these things, those, those are items that are in the general fund. That's correct. And so what gives the general fund money? How did, how did they get their, their, their revenue? Uh, sure. 50%, about 50% of the general fund comes from real estate taxes. And that's, um, Fairfax County actually does the assessment, figures out what the properties are worth, and then the town of Vienna levies their own real estate tax. Currently the tax is 22 and a quarter cents. Um, but that, so that's about 50% of our revenue. About another 23% is called local taxes, and that's things like sales taxes, business license taxes, we get some taxes off of um, cell phones and things like that. And then about another 12% comes from the state of Virginia and the federal government. Then the remainder are various uh, fees, like parks and rec fees, um, ticket, tickets um, from the police department collects, and uh, other uh, zoning fees and that sort of sure, thing. Sure, sure. So we've talked about that aspect uh, of our government. Um, the water and sewer fund, you know, when we use our, our water from our faucets and such, uh, where does that money come from? How is that funded? That, that is funded mainly from user fees. So when you turn on your tap or you flush, uh, you get a bill every quarter. Vienna residents get a bill every quarter, and the fees on those bills pay for the water and sewer fund. Plus, um, when a developer is developing a new project, like the several we have going on down Maple Avenue, they pay fees to connect into our water system. So those two fees pay for the water and sewer fund. Great. And then there's a third um, budget, which is our capital projects budget, pays for things like our new police station, the community center that just finished up. Um, Talk a little bit about that and how we get our, our, our revenue for the capital projects. Sure. I think I like to uh, equate that sort of to your, your home mortgage. When you buy a house, you don't write a check for your house. You, take, you borrow money to pay for that house over 30 years. And that's pretty much what the town does. We borrow money called bond funds. Municipal governments generally uh, borrow money with bonds, and our bonds are more 20-year bonds, but they pay for our capital improvements over a 20-year period. And the town of Vienna uh, Council was very for had a lot of foresight to start a meals tax in 1990 and dedicate that meals tax to paying for capital projects. So capital projects don't come out of what you pay on real estate taxes. They come out of the meal, meals taxes from meals eaten in Vienna restaurants. So our residents pay meals taxes, but also all our visitors to town who eat in our restaurants help us pay for our capital improvements. Yeah, that, that's, that's really a good thing to remember. So. That's why we come out to have On Deck with Mercury at places like mm -hmm. uh, Foster's Grill and other establishments to kind of encourage that. But we've had some really strong numbers um, here 
uh, in this, this current year with Mills Tax, and that funds, like you said, all of our um, our big projects and right. you know our, our police department and such. Mm -hmm. So that's well, we're, very, we're very fortunate to have a number of great dining op options here in Vienna, including uh, new restaurants that opened in the pandemic. Really brave of them, but yeah. but uh, there's a lot of grassroots support for the restaurants, and uh, and they do really well. And yeah, we're, we're happy and. It's a good source of revenue too. Yeah, I think I think so. And since the pandemic started about two years ago, uh, the town received some unexpected funds from the federal government. Um, talk about that and the impact that it's had on our budget. Sure thing. Um, first, we received money from the Coronavirus Aid and Relief Act, called the CARES funds. Those were the initial funds received when the pandemic first started in 2020. Um, we use that to support. Um, some public safety, some cybersecurity, um, equipment for employees to telework, improvements to our building like improved air filtration systems. If you come into town hall or other buildings, you notice plexiglass uh, barriers, those pay for those sort of things. Uh, PPE, personal protective equipment for our employees, masks and gloves and things like that, and disinfecting supplies. Um, the town also used a million dollars of that almost $3 million grant to support the businesses in town through a Fairfax County program. So we gave our money back to Fairfax County, who gave it back to our businesses and Vienna business alone. And also about another 100,000 for needy families to help cover basic living expenses and utilities. Wow, so that's, that's, those were our uh, coronavirus. Yeah, that's first pretty amazing. I mean, selling. to think about you know going through that and then having the federal dollars to kind of help augment what we have going on here, mm -hmm. um, which is really, it's a compliment to you know the fiscal responsibility that we try to maintain here and then to have that come in augment, it, it kind of helped us to kind of weather the storm, so yeah. to speak. Um, We're looking at yeah. it in the rearview mirror now, but it was a really scary time. And that, yeah. that money was helpful to help us meet the expenditures that we had in that time. And uh, now we're very uh, fortunate to have received an allocation from the new American Rescue Plan, or, or the ARPA funds. That's coming in two buckets. One bucket came June of this year, of 2021, last year, I guess, and another bucket will be coming by June of 2020, of 2022. Um, that's $17 million, which is really terrific. Out of, out of that, we're going to spend $13 million on capital projects. ARPA funds, uh, you have very specific requirements what you can spend it for, but we'll be spending it on water and sewer projects, deferred park maintenance, um, and some stormwater projects. Then the remaining that aren't capital projects we'll be spending on bolstering our cybersecurity program, um, also um, uh, some parks, some parks programs, and um, some more building improvements to make sure that we can adequately prevent and mitigate the spread of the pandemic. Wow, that that is really, um, really, really beneficial to the town, and and it's also it's actually our tax dollars at work because whenever the federal government, you know, does give us. CARES funds acts or ARPA funds acts, those actually, actually are tax dollars coming back to right. Vienna. So uh, it's a really big help uh, to us in that way. Um, Absolutely right, yes. So, so as, we, as we kind of um, end our time here together, um, so we're in the budget season and it probably would be good to talk about how residents can um, communicate what their thoughts are. We have public hearings coming up in April. The budget's gonna be voted on probably in May. And, and by uh, state code, it has to be approved by June 30th. So maybe talk about the, the public hearing and how residents can come in and maybe um, you know, talk about what sure. their thoughts are about the budget. Sure. Uh, residents are always welcome to communicate with council, to communicate with department heads, to communicate with you, the town manager, uh, through email, come to town hall in person. So at any point in time, you can talk to us. But also, we have special public hearings. First of all, the, um, budget, the budget document itself, we it goes in sort of two cycles. One, we, we release a proposed budget. That'll be released to the public around the second week in March. And it's available online on our, our website. And also, you can request a copy, at, uh, in uh, hard copy if you'd like. Right. Council discusses that in an all-day work session. I believe it's March 12th this year. The public can attend, but they can't comment at that point. Right. But then later, once council makes their comments, there'll be uh, public hearings. There'll be one public hearing on the budget itself, one public hearing on the water and sewer rates, and I believe those are April 11th, and then there'll be a public hearing on the tax rate, and that will be on April 25th. Those happen, those happen at Town Hall um, at 8 p.m., and uh, residents are welcome to attend and make public comment at that point. Um, they're allowed three minutes to speak on it, and uh, again, they can send 
comments by email to council or call council. Um, look up all those email addresses <laughs> or phone numbers on our website at uh, www.viennava.gov. Um, and then council will, will uh, vote on the budget and then it will get adopted with changes um, in the middle of May. I believe right. it's May 16th. Right, so that, that's a really good explanation. So uh, citizens who are watching um, should take away that March, March uh, 12th, they can come in and listen. It's not a time to speak, but it's a time to listen to the presentation of the budget and, and hear the council talk about uh, what they plan on doing and might do. And then they can um, wait until April or they can, anytime between March 12th and April, they can think about what they would like to communicate to the council. They can email the council and then they can come to the public hearings in April. Mm -hmm. And then after that, then there'll be a vote in May. So that's, that's a good thing for residents to know that there is a sequence and there's an opportunity for them mm -hmm. to share their thoughts. And we welcome public comments because yeah. We do, we do our best to try and serve the residents of Vienna, and we want to know what's on their minds. Yeah, exactly, so. exactly. Well, thanks for spending your evening with us. I know this is, um, and you probably would do something else on, on this <laughs> evening, but, you know, we always talk money, so, you know, it's always, it's always <laughs> fun for us to do that anyway. Right. So thank you so much, Marion. Sure, thank you for having me, Mercury. Sure, absolutely. Um, and I'd like to thank you all for joining us and spending your time with us to watch and hear about um, what uh, our budget is and the different um, funds we have and, um, how the revenues play a part in, in making all those things a reality. And um, I really want to thank also uh, Foster's Grill for allowing us to uh, come here and set up and, uh, and broadcast from here this evening. Uh, so th thank you, everyone. I hope everyone has uh, an enjoyable uh, rest of your winter. And um, until next time, um, have a great evening. Thanks a lot and take care. <laughs>